Good morning, friends. If you have been following the children's sermon on the Sundays that I am with you, you will notice that I am always in my kitchen. It is one of my favorite places to be in the house because often I am cooking. So this morning, you will see that hanging on my oven is a flour sack towel. And it says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that comes from Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Today's scripture is from Joshua chapter 24. It is part of our lectionary reading. And in this lectionary reading, Joshua is one of the leaders. He has led the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage and into the promised land. And the Israelites are now in chapter 24. They're in the promised land, but they have many distractions. The land they entered has many gods um, they are not being loyal to the one Lord, our God. And so Joshua has a conversation with them and um, fusses at them or chastises them and says, hey, you're not following just one Lord, our God. There are many distractions that you are having in your life. You know, all of us, no matter our age or stage in life, we are distracted. We have choices to make. What is going to occupy our time in our lives? And God calls us to remember that the Lord our God is one. And Joshua is reminding these Israelites that you too are to have one God. He even talks to them about their, their ancestors who, um, as they were being led through the wilderness, how they remained faithful to God. Even at moments when they too were distracted, God's faithfulness remained and God watched over God's people. I want us to remember that too, to remember just as the scripture in, jo in Joshua says, that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's interesting that this scripture comes between last week's lectionary and when we were remembering the saints, um, people who have come before us in faith. And indeed, this is once again a reminder of all our ancestors who have come before us and how they have kept the faith. Sometimes they fall off and get other distractions and make other choices, but we are encouraged and reminded to come to God, our Lord. Also, as I am recording this, I'm aware that we have just had our national election. And probably grown-ups in your midst have been talking about the election. And for all of us to remember, too, that regardless of the outcome, whether our candidates won or lost, again, we serve a mighty God. And we are reminded in Scripture to be still and know that the Lord our God is one. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for the reminders throughout Scripture, whether it is Joshua, All Saints Day, elections, whatever it is for us to remember, that you, Lord, are the one for us to follow, that even when we are distracted and things don't go our way, that other ideas come into our mind to take time and pause and to remember each day and to put our faith and hope and trust in you, O Lord, that you indeed are our Redeemer, our Sustainer, and the one who renews our lives and gives us hope. In your name we pray. Amen. Also, I want to remind you there's something else coming up this week, midweek, 
and that is Veterans Day. Veterans Day is when, is when we honor those who have sacrificed and given their lives for us so that we can enjoy our freedom. If you know a veteran, it might be someone in your home, it might be someone in your family, neighborhood, even a teacher, someone at school. Pause this week on Wednesday and thank a veteran because it is because of those men and women who have given and sacrificed that you and I have the freedom to come to church, that our families have the freedom to vote. We are indeed blessed in the United States. Go forth and give thanks.